Hey, this is Chris with Prairie Tactical. Today we're going to have a look at our centerfire pistol silencers. Um, the PTAC 9mm and the PTAC 45 ACP are the same externally. They come apart the same. The only difference is going to be your end cap, baffling, and your mounting system. So, <clears throat> since I'm running the baffles on both of these, i got to remove the O-rings. It's time for them to be replaced. That is a wear object, and soaking them in a the bath probably won't do them any good anyway. And I know for a fact my 45 one's worn out. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is take the mounting cap off and the piston comes out. I'm gonna take the mounting cap off and I'm gonna get a tool in here and I am going to peel out this O-ring. There's one out of two. So now I can just go ahead and throw this guy in there along with my piston and my suppressor. Alright, so we're going to get these guys soaked and uh, I will see you guys in a couple hours. Thanks. Two hours later. Alright, so now that you've got your suppressor clean, we're going to get all these parts back into a functional pistol suppressor. So let's take a look at the parts. We have our piston nut, piston spring, and our piston. Our piston mount, main tube, eight baffles, a baffle spacer, one extension tube with integrated baffle, and an end cap. Uh, if you're going to be using this on a fixed barrel firearm, like a carbine or whatever, we also offer accessory mounts, fixed mounts, that replace the piston assembly and the piston nut. They come threaded with the barrel thread that you need. You gotta look it up. Um, and this accessory would just replace all of this. Again, it's for fixed barrel use only. And we're gonna set this up uh, to run on my FN again. So what I like to do is I'd like to start with the piston and mount assembly and go from there. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take my piston mount. We're gonna throw in our piston, our spring. There's a new O-ring inside this. Don't skip the O-ring. They're cheap, replace them if they need to be, especially if you've put it in your solvent tank. Um, it, it takes a lot, but again, it's a wear item, so it doesn't hurt. Once that stuff's in, we go ahead and we assemble our pistons assembly. It doesn't take a whole lot. Give this an awkward angle and just a little snut. All right. So now we have the piston and mount assembly done. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it on the tube. Notice I've put the Prairie Tactical logo closest to the mount. Now this guy's done. All right, let's take a look at our baffles. All of our Prairie Tactical silencers use a simple, uh, similar baffle stacking setup. Of the eight, there's gonna be three different kind of baffles in here. You're gonna have a short or thin baffle with no tab on the bottom. There's a standard link baffle with no tab on the bottom. And then there's a standard link baffle with a tab on the bottom. The tab keys into the slot on top of all these baffles to allow them to stack nice and pretty and even. So I'm going to start with the extension tube here. So the thinnest of the baffles is going to go first. And then we're going to take baffle with tab, standard length, stacking on top of that. Another baffle with tab, stacking on top of that. See, nice steady stack. I'm going to take my extension tube and slide it over. So those are accounted for. Now, if I'm going to run this long instead of our standard length with the extension tube, at this point, I would go ahead and put the end cap on 
and that's going to help keep these baffles together while you manipulate things. We'll keep it in camera there. All right, so the extension tube is done. End cap, baffles, boom. So now for the main baffle assembly, I'm going to take the baffle with no taps. That's going to be first, and then I'm going to stack these other four standard baffles right on top. No particular order needed. Just get everything stacked nice and neat. And the spacer will go on top. Once it's stacked, all I've got to do, slide all the baffles home, tilt her over. And now I can either put my end cap on, or in this particular case, I'm gonna put my extension tube on. All right, so there you have our center fire pistol suppressors in our standard configuration and extended, whatever it is you want to use it for. For more information about our entire suppressor and accessory lineup, please visit www.ptacsd.com or follow the link below. Thanks for watching.